Welcome to the video on how to create a perceptual map using Excel 16. If you have an earlier version of Excel, see the link in the video below and you'll be taken to a more appropriate video. Okay, we need to start out with suitable marketing data. What I've done is I've got four soft drink brands here and I've got two attributes which will form the basis of my perceptual map. They're both on a one to five scale. Uh, so very sweet is five and bitter would be one. So on that scale there and high in caffeine would be five and no caffeine would be one. So they're scaled out as well. And then I've got here uh, an estimation of market share, which I'm going to use to help form the perceptual map. Okay, first thing I do is go up to insert, come across to charts, click on scatter and bubble chart and then come down and select a bubble chart. Currently I have a blank canvas uh, which is going to allow me to enter my appropriate numbers over here. Just very quickly if you're not familiar with charts you can see chart tools are showing there. If I click outside the chart it disappears. So if you ever lose it just click on the chart somewhere and it brings it up. Over here we're going to have select data which is our starting point. We will add each of these individually. So series name is our brand. Then we've got our X value, which is sweet to bitter. Our Y value, which is caffeine to no caffeine. And then our bubble size. I'm going to use that as the market share. Okay, so that's all there. Let me just check it. I put it there and I get a circle. I go over it and it says, hey, it's points three and four, which it is over here, and 20% market share. So I've entered it correctly. So basically then you just go through and add whatever is in your chart that you want to show on your map. So X and Y value, just to show you one more of this, and then market share. Okay, so before you hit OK, you, it tells you what it's picked up. Pepsi, 5, 4.5 and 15%, which matches over here. So I can go, yep, I've done that correctly. Okay, I'm just going to pause the video while I add the Fanta and Mountain Dew and I'll come back. And our next step is to format these lines and get rid of these numbers. So these lines go basically go through the middle like a, a plus sign. I go here, I bring up the icons, click on plus, I want to go to axes, axis, come down to more options. Okay, I've set this. This is, we're looking at the horizontal one, the one across the bottom. I've set that from zero to six. Now basically my scale is one to five, so I've just gone a little bit outside. If I actually set that from one to five, it would cross here or end the chart there and I would actually lose half of that circle. So just for display purposes. Come down here, I want to line through here, so this is the vertical axis. I'm going to change that to the center, which will be 3. As you can see, that's been moved across. And basically, I don't want tick marks or numbers down the bottom. So I come down to tick marks, and set both of these to none. And then finally, I don't want any labels and I guess set that to none as well. So you can see that the bottom bottom axis there is now blank, just a line. So now I can go back up to here and go to the vertical axis and, and basically repeat the situation. It's zero to six. I want the horizontal crossing, this time in the middle. So that's going to bring that up. I do not want any tick marks and I do not want any labels. Okay, so now I've got my two lines across the middle as, as I uh, want to see in a perceptual map. Now the next thing I want to do is add the, the boxes that indicate what these attributes are. So what I do is click on the map. Uh, that's important, so I'm going to go up to insert and I'm going to go to a, a simple shape and put in a box, not a text box, but a box. There's a reason for that. And I basically put where I want it to go, roughly there. That's open. I'm going to go to 
the uh, the equal sign and I'm going to click on the appropriate label which in this case is sweet okay it brings up that it's a little bit out of format so basically I can just come over here uh, maybe bring the size down a little bit it's probably easier doing it that way I probably want to take out the fill so I'll just make no fill and I can just physically move that around okay so if I was to change that down the track um, let's put another word in there nice it automatically changes it so by setting it up as a formula you can basically once you have it in place produce multiple maps so again um, it's very important that I click on the chart first to make make that happen if I don't if I was over here and if I inserted um, my box sorry so inserted the uh, shape now it appears I'm going to put it on the on the ch on the chart so I'll do equal and then bitter okay without formatting that watch what happens when I move the chart okay it's not part of it so I actually need to click on the chart first so I'm going to pause and put the other ones on very quickly okay I've set up the the map and all the the boxes are uh, part of the map so I can just adjust and it all all flows together the next step is to label these circles so again we, we click on we bring up the the button and we're going to go to data labels so I want to go across and go to more options what I'm going to do is I want the series name which is the name of the of the particular brand I don't particularly want anything else and I want it centered so basically what we can see is put the name of coke in okay so I just go and click on each of them go to that one for example data labels more options again I just want the series name I, I can put other things in there I can put values or market share which we be the double bubble size for one or two I'll just show you how that's done and then do center and as you can see I just close that we've now got Pepsi 15% uh, which is the size of the circle or just a brand name by itself whatever you would like prefer to do okay basically that's it that's how you construct a perceptual map obviously I would finish these two and then if I wanted to and change the data for example if I made that five it just happens automatically so I can just play around with with uh, different maps and produce a whole bunch of maps quite differently once I've set that up I can just change attributes um, change the numbers and I've got map after map after map fairly quickly fairly helpful if you're doing uh, various analysis um, by the way there is a free template available on my website which you can see the link below so all the best